Here's how you can make this blurry chromatic aberration text effect here in Photoshop. All right, so first I'm gonna go with the size as a reference. And here I'm gonna choose the Stussy logo. You also can select the type tool and type in whatever you want. After you type in the text, let's go to the text layer, right click on it and select convert smart object. And from here, we're gonna go here to the filter, blur gallery, and let's go and select the field blur. Now here I'm gonna fill up the text with blur and I'm gonna go and add some more circles here, here, and I'm gonna increase at the circle, the blurriness. And I'm gonna add another one here and here I'm gonna decrease it. For example, I don't like how it looks and you can press on delete to delete it and just arrange them however you want. And I'm gonna bring this out, there you go. I'm gonna add one more here, make it blurry. I'm gonna decrease the blur here and play around with it until it's gonna look something like this. And I'm gonna go here, click OK. Now let's go back to the text layer and we're gonna need to right click on it again and convert it into smart object again. So make sure that you're on the text layer and press Ctrl J and Ctrl J again. So this way it's gonna duplicate. Now I'm gonna go and double click on the top text layer, open up the layer styles. And here I'm gonna go to the channels, make sure to check the R, the red, and uncheck the green and the blue. Click OK. Now I'm gonna go and double click on the second text layer. Now I'm gonna go and uncheck the red and uncheck the blue. So we're gonna remain with the green. Click OK. And now at least double click on the first text layer here. And I'm gonna go and uncheck the red and the green. So we're left with the blue. Click OK. I'm also gonna rename them a red, green, and blue. And here all you need to do is select the red layer, press Ctrl T, you can rearrange it. The main point is to bring it to the left. You also can stretch it. I'm gonna stretch it like this, double click release. And I'm gonna go and select the layer with the blue, press Ctrl T, and I'm gonna stretch it on the right. And check this out, we got a really nice chromatic aberration going on. I'm also gonna add some blur. I'm gonna select the top text layer, and let's go here, let's select solid color, and I'm gonna go with black, click OK. Let's go to filter, noise, and select add noise. Click on convert to smart object. Make sure to uncheck the monochrome. And I'm gonna go with like 25%, click OK. And I'm gonna go to the blend mode. And here I'm gonna change it to screen. And pretty much that's how you make this logo with chromatic aberration and blur here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.